she will break your heart smiling laughing very happy and she will ruin you ruin your life after investing your money in her after spending time energy resources in her and many of you you see a useless broke woman and you say oh i want to i want to touch this woman up i want to you know let, let me let me let me get her to a level a higher level let her level up with with some of the high level women you see around and you now start spending on her buying her things and 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 buying things for her and all that and that selfish creature evil creature wicked creature unfaithful ungrateful disloyal and treacherous bastard after you have raised her level she will look down on you one day disrespect you and say you're no longer on her level and you're the one who lifted her from the gutter you're the one who lifted her from the sewers you're the one who brought her out of the pit now that you have clothed her and you have put some money in her bank account and given her some contacts that same wretched creature will turn against you and betray you that is the evil of hypergamy men Never invest in a woman who does not invest in you. But some of you are idiots and you will not listen. Hi, I'm Praise George. I'm a clarity coach. Men, never invest in a woman who doesn't invest in you. Never put down money on the table for a woman who brings you no value. Never do for a woman what she has never done for you or what she is not even willing to do for you. But many of you are stupid and you would not listen. You're overwhelmed by your stupid emotions and you will put down money on the table for a woman who will not lift up a finger to help you in any way the most selfish creature on earth is not a crow the crow is um is an evil bird the crow even starves its own young the crow it's an evil bird a woman is more selfish than the crow. The most selfish creature on the planet is a woman. Selfish, self-centered, totally, completely selfish, irredeemably selfish. The most selfish creature on the planet is a woman. She will never do for you. She will never put down anything on the table for you as a man. She expects you to put down money on the table for her. She expects you to take care of her. She expects you to provide for her. She expects you to solve all her problems. She expects you to pay her bills. She expects you to treat her like a princess. Nonsense. Without doing anything for you. And some of you will think it is love. So you spend your money on useless women, on broke women, on selfish women, evil women who will never lift up a finger to do anything for you. They will never do anything for you. Wicked women. The most wicked creature on the planet is a woman. Selfish, self-centered. A woman can see a man dying, totally dying, and she will still ask you for money. She can see you broke and struggling to survive she will still ask you for money she can see you a woman can see you drowning see a man drowning and she will ask for your wallet to get some money for you before you finally drown the most wicked selfish creature on the planet is a woman it's not a crow a crow is even kind a crow starves its young a woman is more wicked than a crow so to know a woman who has worked on a character and changed that character the test is this is that woman investing in you is she bringing money to the table as you're bringing money to the table is she spending on you as you're spending on her never invest in the woman who has never invested in you that is why many of you are so stupid 
you sponsor a woman to university a broke woman you sponsor her to university sponsor her to go learn a trade you sponsor her to 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 get a degree and that ungrateful unfaithful disloyal and treacherous bastard after she's gotten that degree after she's learned that trade after she has acquired that new skill set she will come and tell you that she's better than you that she's found a man who is better than you that you are no longer on our level on our class some of you are, are idiots you use your money to sponsor a woman to university a woman who has never spent a, a dime on you you're using your money to, to sponsor her to university never don't do that don't be an idiot that woman will betray you 100% of the time she will betray you why because she never put down her own money for you she never invested in you she never spent on you never spend your money on a woman who has never spent on you the only way you know that a woman is mature a woman has fixed her character a woman is ready for a mutually beneficial relationship is when that woman reciprocates the value you bring to the table she reciprocates it because love is the mutual exchange of value love is the mutual exchange of value between two people who care for themselves so the only way you know that this woman is ready to be in a in a mutually beneficial relationship with me is when you put something down the table she reciprocates and does something for you she goes out of her way to also do something for you for you to prove that she's not a selfish creature that she has broken that the evil of hypergamy over her life and she sees you as a human being worthy of love and care if she doesn't see you that way as a as a human being worthy of her love and her care don't put down money for her because that evil creature will be betray you now some stupid women will come on my post and ask me are you married do you have a woman in your life do you have a mother has a woman disappointed you who is the woman that hurt you nobody hurt me hypergamy makes women evil hypergamy makes women selfish self-centered and they only think about themselves hypergamy is wicked a woman will keep jumping from man to man and she doesn't care you can invest in a woman for five years and in the sixth year her hypergamy will push her to start a relationship with a man who is richer than you she will break your heart and she will never apologize she will break your heart smiling laughing very happy and she will ruin you, ruin your life after investing your money in her, after spending time, energy, resources in her. And many of you, you see a useless, broke woman and you say, oh, I want to, I want to touch this woman up. I want to, you know, let, let me, let me, let me get her to a level, a higher level. Let her level up with, with some of the high level women you see around and you now start spending on her, buying her things and, and, and buying things for her and all that. And that selfish creature, evil creature, wicked creature, unfaithful, ungrateful, disloyal, and treacherous bastard. After you have raised her level, she will look down on you one day, disrespect you and say, you're no longer on her level. And you're the one who lifted her from the gutter. You're the one who lifted her from the sewers. You're the one who brought her out of the pit. Now that you have clothed her and you have put some money in her bank account and given her some contacts, that same wretched creature will turn against you and betray you. That is the evil of hypergamy. And some of you are expecting it to change. You say, no, this woman is not like that. No, she's like that. 99.9% .9 of women are, that, are like that. Only very few people, very few women are not like that. And how do you identify those women? A woman who invests in you has broken the power of hypergamy over her life. A woman who puts down on the money or who puts down her money on the table for you has broken the spell of hypergamy over her life. She cares for you and she reciprocates your love. She reciprocates your investment. 
Now, what I'm saying, because some of you broke men, you're listening to me and you're thinking in your mind, oh, that means I should start getting money from women. No, don't do that. That makes you her slave. Never, never put yourself in a position where you're, where a woman is taking care of you. No, I said, don't invest in a woman who is not investing in you. So there should be mutual investment going on in the relationship. Never, never invest in a woman who does not invest in you. You will be fine. You will be fine.